We have to have true community engagement and an ongoing permanent commitment, a partnership. I have seen the power of community engagement in community schools. Community organizations are set up in these schools to provide everything from dental care, housing, information, job banks, and more. The community schools are reminding us that the barriers between schools and neighborhoods are artificial and must be broken down for all of us to prosper. From the AFT, we're here to give a hand. So let's get this party started. Everybody is busy with hammers and saws. Over 200 volunteers building for kids. Just because children live in poor situations doesn't mean that they deserve less. So what's so exciting about this is that they're getting a state-of-the-art, fabulous playground. They learn through play, and outdoor play is really important. Child care centers don't have the funding to do big-scale kind of equipment like this. We're doing something for kids, and that's what we're about. That's what our organization is about, helping children and reaching out to the community. To have a host of volunteers to come from all over the country to say, we believe in what you're doing. We are here to help and support you. The AFT is right here. We appreciate you and you and you and you oh, and you. Girl. The moving team is going to be lions and tigers and bears. This has been a seven year journey building this building. So now we are here with AFT Strong today, moving us in. They're all about community. They're all about working hard. They're work about working together for a common goal. I uh, helped build the little picnic tables there in the back. That was fun. And the trikes and help some of the guys with the um, papers. So, a little bit of everything. The volunteering and helping out is part of our DNA. It's what we are. We're very proud, very proud to be a part of AFT and every single employee of Tiny Pot is a member of AFT. Those kids don't have a better life because they don't have an education. I am very concerned about the 72 million uneducated children that are out in the world right now. I am trying to teach my children the importance of caring about others. I had heard about the AFT's involvement in the One Goal campaign, and I thought this would be an excellent opportunity for them. We talked about new ways we can help the children who are not able to get an education, and then we went on the computer and signed up to join the petition, and then we went outside and we all had countries on our shirts and everything, and represent the countries who do play soccer. This is Tracy Lally. She is a teacher, and her oh, kids look at signed this. this ball for is you. <gasps> the kids have a feeling that they can make a difference, and now they're circling back to giving you the wow. soccer ball. You know, that's the that's vision of what, what public soccer. education should be. We have an incredible opportunity with one goal to make the lasting legacy of this World Cup education for all. I went to Africa to learn more about this issue and I saw evidence that education makes a massive difference. An educated child will have the opportunity to be the first in her family to pull herself out of poverty. Teachers in our classrooms throughout the country are always looking for rich curriculum ideas to use with their children to further their basic skills here, but also to expose them to ideas that broaden their world. One goal! One goal! Hi, everyone at the American Federation of Teachers. Thanks for being such an amazing partner with Save the Children. By bringing a childhood poverty lesson plan and a Valentine's Day art contest into schools, you've helped us make a real difference for kids in need. The winning artists of the art contest are here with me in New York City, and the cards they designed are now available to order. Proceeds benefit Save the Children's programs right here in the United States. Every single time we 
send one of these Valentines. We are helping kids all across America who may be hungry, who may not have as many books as we have in this library. That compassion and love can be a path to helping all kids in America be successful. AFT's support of Special Olympics is a natural fit. So many of our members are coaches or volunteers for athletes. And in supporting them, we help support the students in our classroom to be able to show their abilities. They're intellectually disabled, but it doesn't mean that there aren't accomplishments and achievements that they can make. And Special Olympics allows them to compete and to be recognized. The event this year, the National Special Olympics, um, will be held in Lincoln, Nebraska. And this time we're sponsoring the track and field event. The purpose of these games is, is not just for the athletes, but it's also to educate and inform the public that people with disabilities have other abilities and to recognize that. It is from the air that the true scope of the damage in Haiti becomes clear. On the ground, prospects start to dim for people still trapped in rubble. When we heard that the earthquake had happened, and we knew that we had people that had the skills that could help the people of Haiti, we started right away to organize. At the time, it felt like it was the right thing to do. I mean, there's, there's rarely a, an instance in which I've been able to help in a disaster such as this, and it just felt like the right thing to do, and there was a need, so I acted. The first team of 12 healthcare professionals left Burlington, Vermont and arrived through the Dominican Republic at the border of Haiti. When I heard that our team had found the hospital in Himani and that there were many more surgeons and not um, very many caregivers there and that they welcomed us um, to be there, that was awesome. Kate Duffy and photographer Bob Davis spent a week embedded with the Vermont Haiti Relief Team. Nurses volunteering with the Vermont Haiti Relief Team say the work here is unlike anything they have ever experienced. It's been exciting and exhilarating and exhausting. I've never worked so hard in my life. This patient who hadn't been getting up very much, he had a new amputation, um, called to me so I could look and see him standing up and then another patient that had an amputation and another patient that had an amputation were all waving at me and going for a stroll. That was an amazing joy. The hard work that everyone put into the whole trip was amazing and I do honestly believe that we made a difference and I hope more groups can continue to go down. <laughs>